Welcome back to P4 Music. Pips and Angie here, bringing you the hottest new music around. That's right. We're interviewing someone so hot, you better be wearing your sunscreen. His music's not bad either. That's right. We have newcomer and Mercury nominee, Tom Charmer. (laughs) Thanks so much for joining us today, Tom. It's great to have you here. Pleasure's all mine. Sat in front of two six and a half out of tens, wouldn't have missed it for the world. Oh, stop it, you. Now, you've just released your critically acclaimed new album, I'm Up Here Looking Down on You All, and people have actually compared you to Bob Dylan. I mean, one publication has gone so far to say, and I quote, This is the end of music. Where do you go from here? Five stars. I mean, where do you get your inspiration from? Can I get a water, please? Well, P. You don't mind if I call you P, do you? I mean, of course I'd you don't. rather... Look, listen. Music's the art of thinking with sounds, right? Where people see things in black and white, I see things in 3D. It's flattering to be likened to Bob Dylan. I like to think I have more in common with, well, Plato, Aristotle, Socrates. I'm a philosopher, the inner soul. The mind as well. I articulate myself through music, not gibberish, you know? Whoa. That is so deep. Good looking, talented, and smart. Your girlfriend is one lucky lady. (laughs) Well, she would be if she existed. Although, the only lady in my life is, well, one I strum with one hand and finger with the other. I mean... Oh, you mean your guitar? Oh, sorry, I thought you meant your... uh... Yeah. Now, Tom, you're also a dab hand at painting, amongst many other talents. And you've brought your latest artwork to the studio today. Let's have a look. Uh, that one's upside down. Mm. They say a picture paints a thousand words, right? I say a painting paints, well, at least a million. At least! Look at those eyes. A thousand apiece, maybe? Depth. They tell such pride, inspiration, power. There's so much dominating power in those eyes. Don't you think? Look at them. Uh, mm. They're haunting. There's also such a sense of vulnerability. It's like they always say that the eyes are the mirror to the soul and reflect everything that seems to be hidden. It's like you present this hard, strong exterior to the rest of the world, but actually you're protecting your soft, delicate center. Like a cream egg. (laughs) Back to your earlier question that you asked, where do I get my inspiration? Well, it's simple, really. Love. Life. Shared experiences. You put that there. (sighs) You don't mind if I quickly just... uh... Well, actually, we've kind of run out of time, so... Pigtails in her hair you see Staring across the room at me Angie Guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. It means the world to me, genuinely. It, it, it really does. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I've got some bad news though. Bad news is, is this will be my last song. It's cool, because i got some good news too. After party back at my house and every single one of you are invited. Come on, yeah. Raise the roof off, yeah. Keep it down, keep it down. I've got an earache. I've got an earache, not to keep it conversational. Uh, thank you though. Um, there's a band on after me. They're really good. Uh, Mystic Sheep Dogs or something like that. They're really good. I mean, they're really effing good at their instruments. Just not together though, but that's cool, because you can't have it all, right? Nowadays anyway. My next tune, Pretty Little Girl in a Polo Neck. Mystic Sheepdog? Why can't anyone get our name right? I'm still not sure about the Thrill of the Heapdog anyway, guys. Do I think anything's better than Uranium Playpen? Or the Groovy Cosbys. Or the Parkinson's. Boner Wolf. It's better than being called The Band. Adolf Hitler and the Vinyl Revolution. Oh, fuck off. They're ideas, at least. I really like it.
like chocolate. How do we get Bill with this guy anyway? I mean, who really likes this sort of stuff anyway? We've done about 40 gigs now, still can't get more than about 10 people to turn up to one. Well, I'm not sure anyone's turned up to the last 10. How the fuck do you promote something like this to your friends? Let alone strangers willing to come and see someone they don't even know. I think you just gotta like connect on some level with the audience, you know? Like hit them with a track which really fucking blow their tits off. Yeah, that will fill like, a fat rich record producer and his rich fat friends. I bet it's Tom guys are fucking tall at parties. Got the guitar primed and ready to bore everyone to sleep. On my face. So, are we gonna go? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Oh, I am gonna hang out the back of that one later. <laughs> no girlfriend tonight then? Nah, not tonight. No, I can't stay out too late tonight, so. Well, that's that settled then. We'll crash our Tots TV party, uh. and I'll park the beef bus in Tuna Town. No, no, mate, I don't think we should get too rat ass tonight, alright? And we, we do have a gig tomorrow yeah. night. We'll be rammed anyway, so it won't matter if we fuck it up. Why have we got a gig on a Wednesday anyway? Because Wednesday's a new Thursday. I thought Thursday was a new Friday. It is. What's Friday? Friday's Friday. It feels like a Thursday. Feels like you're an idiot. Wednesday's the middle of the week. No one comes out in the middle of the week apart from students. Guys, listen, thank you so much for coming out. Like I said to my fans, you know who you are. Uh, follow me, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Bebo as well. Super fans out there, you know where to find that out. You know you can. That's what I'm saying. Hashtag YOLO, because you only live once, really. Uh, tag me up, follow me, and I look forward to seeing you at my next gig. Peace. Right, let's get set up before this lot fuck off. Oh, for fuck's sake! Henry's not answering. Didn't even notice that he'd left. He fucked off before the last song even finished. Well, we didn't exactly have an audience anyway, so... Yeah, well, sometimes it's not even about that. Some of the greatest bands in the world just play, right? Like, there's no one there. At least we had one in the audience. Hi. Hi. It's not even ringing anymore. Well, maybe he's I gone. swear he's cheated on Amelia, like, twice already. He's such a bastard, man, I swear. She doesn't deserve him. Oh, I always initially think foxes and babies screaming. Yeah, what is going on with the foxes in London at the moment? They're so loud. In fact, I heard that a fox made its way into someone's house and actually ate their baby. Yeah? I heard a rabbit mauled a toddler recently. What the fuck? Really? No. Now I'm just playing with your tits. Oh. And they get a bad rep. Don't badgers give you TB? Uh, yeah, I've heard they give you TB. Yeah, but not on purpose, though. It's not like wild foxes intent on ripping your face apart as you sleep. <laughs> they just freak me out. Yeah, where the fuck are you? I've been wandering about for about half hour now. I'm with Ashley and Tom. Sorry, what's your name? Hi. Hi? Okay. And a guy called Hi. Where's his party then? Can I help you? Hi, yeah, we're here for the after party. Sorry, who are you? With the band that was on after Tom. And him? That's Hi. Okay, whatever. Hi. Ooh. Oh, 
There he is. It's like a dog with a bone. Right, I'll grab beers, you lot grab that couch or we'll lose it faster than Jimmy Savile's OBE. Hi. Hi. Alright Gaylords, you made it then? Yeah, cheers for leaving during the last song mate. I was doing that whole punk storming off stage thing. You guys didn't carry on playing. Yeah, we did the 10 minute outro we discussed in rehearsal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't fucking laugh mate, the sound man put us out of our misery, cut us short. On top of that, there's no booze at this party, it's a fucking waste of time. No, don't worry, Uncle Henry's got you sorted. I sent some of the others out to get some beers. So, calm down, cheer up a bit, and you lot might just get your end away tonight. Get out, Danny. Let's liven this party up. I've also spotted drinks. Nah, this lot need it, mate. This party stinks. What's happening? Hmm? Hmm? I'm bored. What are you expecting? You've heard his music. Hey, let's not be so harsh. Look, he invited us into his home. He's given us free beer. He seems like a really nice guy. He technically didn't invite us. Nah, you know what? Ashley's right. You say you can tell a lot about someone from a DVD collection? Let's have a look. Ah, and no DVD collection is complete without a copy of Babies. You didn't have to choose that one. Look, there's loads of good ones over there. Black Hawk Down and Bad Boys 2. That's a great film. GCSE Biology. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. <laughs> can see a pattern there. Hey, where'd everybody go? Thank you all so much for coming. I mean, to be up. Who put that there? Let's see if this bad boy's tuned. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it going, please. Guilty. I think today, if I'm honest, I've had the bloody time of my life. Cue the tune! If you know the lyrics Another turning point A fork stuck in the road Turn grabs you by the wrist Directs you where to go So make the best of this task And don't ask me. What the hell is that? Birth of an icon What? Uh, that's what it's called Oh, looks like he sold it Seriously, that piece of shit my gran could have done better than that. She's dead? No, she's pretty crap at art. How much he sold it for? Uh, looks like he sold it for a grand. Seriously, we're in the wrong game. That's just pretentious. That's like having a blank white canvas and calling it Polar Bear in the Antarctic. Oh, that's what this one's called. 500 quid. 500 pound. What a prick. Right, right of facts. Shotgun. Shotgun. What? You've been nominated. Go get oh. some fags. Oh, but I don't even smoke. Oh, fine, okay. I'm off to find that filthy slag. Classy. I'm going to do something similar, but in a far less creepy way. Hey guys, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to head off. I'll see you guys tomorrow at Soundcheck. I've got a meeting early in the morning. No, 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 no. <laughs> Honey, I I'm so sorry I'm late. You see, work has got me working late again. Uh, and I play bass secretly in a band.
<laughs> so I'm actually like completely mad. Like the other day in the office, I was eating some crisps and um, I like threw a couple like, at a colleague. And my boss saw it and I was like really fired. And I'm like, Totally, I, I'm doing crazy stuff like that all the time. I'm totally bonkers. All my friends are like, what? And I'm just like, well, like, I'm just me and I'm amazing. So, like, deal with it. <laughs> are you, are you okay? <laughs> What the hell is going on here? Get the hell out. Get your coats and leave. Now. Get your coats and get the fuck out of my house. Uh, it's gonna happen. Get the fuck out. Look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How many times? It won't happen again. You know it won't. Okay, I'll pick you up a nice curry on the way home and then I'll give you a nice long massage. Okay, I've got to go. I love you, baby. Bye. What, no girlfriend tonight then? Nah, she's on the blob or something. That and I came back completely shit-faced last night and tried it on with her. Silly bitch was having none of it. Why the fuck are we on first? Who arranged that? No one comes to the first act. Well, they did last night. Fucking hell, it's Yogi Bear! Jesus Christ, mate, what happened to you? <sighs> I don't know. Last thing I remember is leaving the party. Then I met some really nice guys. Uh, but I... I woke up like this on the Northern Line this morning. Oh! I got the fags though. Ashley, mate, did you bring the symbols? Fucking hell, I think I gave you boys too much last night. The fuck you spiked us too last night? Yeah, when he spiked you, look. <sighs> you absolute fucker. Right, grab your shit, we're on. Fuck's sake. I thought Thursday was a new Friday. <laughs>